Welcome to USA Explorer. Before you start exploring, please fill in your name, your age, and your address, then use these arrows to find a photograph you like. Hi, my name's Joe. I'm off on a trip around the USA with my parents. If you want to take on the Explorer Challenge and follow me, then answer the phone when it rings. Or if you want a guided tour of all the activities in your bedroom, then click on the train. Bye. Hope to see you later. Hello? Hello, it's Joe here. I need your help. I've left behind an important parcel. Can you bring it to me? Click on the parcel if you want to start the adventure. Select the easy or the hard level. Let's see if you can find me climbing up a very steep rock in the western part of America. The rock looks like someone took a saw and cut it in half. The rock is rounded on the top, so I hope I won't slip off. Bring your ropes, just in case. Let's see if you can find me climbing up a very steep rock in the western part of America. The rock looks like someone took a saw and cut it in half. The rock is rounded on the top, so I hope I won't slip off. Bring your ropes, just in case. My Map of the USA SeaWorld SeaWorld is a popular wildlife park in San Diego. At SeaWorld, people can watch killer whales, dolphins, and other sea creatures swim and perform tricks. Visitors can feed some of the animals, such as the penguins. Even though penguins are birds, they are not able to fly. Instead, they are excellent swimmers. To win a sticker, answer this question. In which city is the popular wildlife park, SeaWorld? San Antonio. <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. Excellent. Joe's left you another clue. Click on the envelope to read it. Half Dome Rock. In Yosemite National Park in California, there is a very uniquely shaped rock which is called Half Dome. Rock climbers from all over the world travel to Yosemite to climb the steep face of Half Dome. 
And here's a photo for your travelogue. Well done. You found the right place. Catch up with me now as I head for Mississippi and sit in the shade of a big magnolia tree. People in Mississippi like magnolia trees so much that they have named them their state tree. Come on! Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a favorite symbol for the city of San Francisco. The bridge is 4,200 feet long and was the longest bridge in the world when it was first opened in 1937. The bridge is painted a reddish golden color and welcomes people to the Golden State of California. Send a postcard. Monterey Bay Aquarium One of the most popular attractions at the Monterey Bay Aquarium is the sea otters. Sea otters are mammals that live in the Pacific Ocean. They eat in a most unusual way. The otters place their food on their stomachs while swimming on their backs, then use their paws to lift the food to their mouths. Mount Shasta Mount Shasta in California is one of the highest mountains in North America. The snow-capped mountain stands 14,162 feet tall and is actually a sleeping, dormant volcano. Adventuresome climbers come from all around the world to climb this giant mountain. Volcano a volcano is a mountain that erupts hot gases, molten rock, and ash. An erupting volcano is known as an active volcano. Volcanoes can remain dormant, sleeping, for a long time between eruptions. Western Saloons Saloons were wild and lively places for entertainment in the mining towns of the Wild West. After a hard day's work looking for gold, miners and prospectors would relax by eating, drinking, dancing and singing in a saloon. To win a sticker, answer this question. What kind of people visited saloons in the Wild West? Prospectors? Politicians. <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. Sagebrush. Sagebrush is a shrubby gray-green plant that grows in dry desert areas. In the spring, sagebrush grows small yellow flowers that turn the desert a golden color. Nevada is sometimes known as the sagebrush state because there is so much wild sagebrush growing there. Desert A desert is a dry area where very little rain falls. Few plants grow in deserts because there is not much water to help the plants grow. There are deserts in the southwest of America. Nevada The state of Nevada is covered by large areas of rocky desert. 
Nevada is sometimes called the Silver State because of the silver that is mined there. Fossils Buried in the soil along the Snake River in Idaho are the bones from many animals that lived thousands of years ago. There are also the fossils of several prehistoric horses as well as fish and small mammals. Idaho Idaho is famous for its beautiful rivers, mountains and valleys. Hell's Canyon, which lies on the Snake River, is one of the deepest canyons in the world. Valley a valley is a large, long dip in the land between hills or mountains. Most valleys contain at least one river or stream. Canyon A canyon is a deep valley with tall, steep cliffs on either side. There is usually a river flowing through the bottom of a canyon. State Symbols Idaho Idaho Syringa Mountain Bluebird White Pine Mountain Bluebird Mountain States All six of the mountain states have a portion of the Rocky Mountains, or Rockies, as part of their land. The Rocky Mountains are a continuous chain of several mountain ranges. The mountain states contain some of the highest places in North America, as well as some excellent ski resorts. Well done! You found the right place! Catch up with me now as I head for Mississippi and sit in the shade of a big magnolia tree. People in Mississippi like magnolia trees so much that they have named them their state tree. <laughs> Hearst Castle Millions of people visit Hearst Castle every year. The castle was one of the homes of William Randolph Hearst, who was a famous newspaper owner during the 1920s. Inside Hearst Castle, there are art objects, several swimming pools, and a theater. To win a sticker, answer this question. What was William Randolph Hearst? A cattle rancher? An oil tycoon? A newspaper owner? <laughs> well done! You've won yourself a sticker. There are lots of beautiful and unique buildings in the United States. Which of these places have you found? You can visit this modern castle in California. And action! <laughs> Making movies. Hollywood is the center of the world's motion picture industry. Many of the world's movies are filmed there, and lots of film celebrities live in the Hollywood area. The well-known Hollywood sign is made of giant letters. The sign sits on top of a hill in the Los Angeles area. World. See <laughs> San Diego Zoo. The San Diego Zoo is one of the world's largest and most creative zoos. The zoo started almost 100 year years ago with just 50 animals. Now the zoo looks after more than 3,800 wild animals. The animals live in environments that are as much like their natural homes as possible. Palm Springs. Palm Springs is a famous resort area in the desert of California. 
It is known for its hot springs and its golf courses. There are over 40 golf courses and many health spas at Palm Springs. Several national golf tournaments are held at Palm Springs each year. Resort A town where lots of people go for a vacation is known as a resort. Resorts are often by the seaside or in the mountains where people can ski. Desert Spring A spring is a place where water naturally bubbles out of the ground. Sometimes hot rocks under the ground heat this water, making it warm and full of minerals. Mexico Mexico is a huge country with desert in the north, rainforests in the south, and high mountains running down the middle. There are often earthquakes in southern Mexico. Humpback whales. Male humpback whales sing underwater to attract female whale whales. Each whale has its own special song. In the fall, humpback whales migrate thousands of miles in order to find a warm place to have their babies, which are called calves. Migrate. When animals migrate, they travel from the area where they live to find somewhere new to live. Many animals migrate each year to find food or to give birth to, to their babies. The Pacific is the largest ocean in the world and home to many beautiful creatures like this graceful manta ray. Along the dark seabed are narrow trenches forming the deepest places on Earth. Underwater earthquakes make these waters extremely dangerous to explore. Further along the ocean floor, giant tube worms are found clustered around tall, rocky stacks. These stacks blow out hot, poisonous water and are known as black smokers. As you get closer to the ocean surface, the sunlit waters fill with life. Pacific Ocean The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean in the world. It is twice the size of the Atlantic Ocean. It stretches almost halfway around the Earth and is dotted with thousands of islands. Submerged beneath the waters of the Pacific are deep ocean trenches and high mountain ranges. Mexican Mariachi Bands Mariachi music is a traditional folk music from Mexico. It is very popular in Texas, which borders Mexico. Mariachi music is happy sounding and is created by playing trumpets, violins, and guitars. The band members usually wear black jackets with matching pants and hats with colorful patterns. Corpus Christi Bay. To celebrate the 500-year anniversary of the voyages of Christopher Columbus, the people of Spain built replicas of the three ships that he and his men traveled in. The replica sh ships, called the Niña, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, are now docked in Corpus Christi Bay. Mardi Gras Mardi Gras is an exciting party held each winter in the town of New Orleans. Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday in French. Fat Tuesday is the last day of feasting before the Christian season of Lent begins. 
Mardi Gras is a big celebration with parades, balls, and plenty to eat. New Orleans New Orleans is known as the birthplace of jazz music. The city has plenty of places to listen to jazz and Dixieland music. Every year, New Orleans hosts the famous Mardi Gras celebration. People come from all over the country to join in this big party. Send a postcard. You will lose your message if you close your postcard without sending it. Drilling for oil. Buried under the ground in the state of Texas are millions and millions of gallons of oil. All over the state, oil rigs dig deep into the earth in search of this oil. Oil is very valuable because it can be used to make many useful things, such as gasoline to power cars. The Alamo. The Alamo was one of the Texas missions during the 1830s. It was the site of a historic battle in 1836 during the Texas War of Independence. 189 Texans fought against thousands of Mexican soldiers for 13 days. When their ammunition ran out, the Texans lost the battle. Alligators. Alligators are large reptiles that live in water and on land. They are one of the oldest types of animals living on Earth. Alligators have sharp teeth and strong jaws and can stay underwater for over an hour without breathing. Most American alligators live in Florida. To win a sticker, answer this question. Where can you find most American alligators? <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. There are plenty of interesting and amazing animals living in the United States. Have you spotted any of these critters in your travels? This scaly swimmer has sharp teeth and lives in Florida. Can you spot the alligator? Rocket ship. The John F. Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida is one of NASA's National Aeronautics and Space Administration centers. Kennedy Space Center is the starting point for many of the American astronauts who travel into space. Traveling into outer space, we can take a closer look at the moon, the stars, and other planets around us. From space, scientists can learn a lot about how the Earth was formed many millions of years ago. Using special satellites, they send back pictures of our weather patterns and beam messages from one side of the world to the other. Our world is just one small round planet, part of a huge universe waiting to be explored. Dolphins. Dolphins are sea mammals known for their intelligence and learning ability. They communicate with each other by using whistle sounds and squeaks. Dolphins live in warm ocean waters all over the world. They are very fast and graceful swimmers that can swim as fast as 25 miles per hour. Mammals. A mammal is a type of animal that breathes air and is warm-blooded. Most mammals are covered with hair or fur and live on land, such as bears, but some live in the, in the sea, such as whales. To win a sticker, answer this question. 
What kind of animals are dolphins? <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. Manatees. Manatees are unique looking sea mammals that live in Florida. They are gentle and playful creatures that can weigh as much as 3,500 pounds. They eat algae and other plants by pushing the food into their mouths with their weak front flippers. Mother manatees stay with their baby calves for a year and a half. Southeast. The southeast area of the United States is made up of 12 states. It reaches from Virginia and Kentucky to the Gulf of Mexico. In the 19th century, the southeast was known for its many plantation farms which grew cotton and tobacco. Now, the southeast is both an urban and an agricultural area. Peaches. The state of Georgia is often called the peach state because it is a leading producer of peaches. A peach is a type of fruit that has a fuzzy skin and is sweet and juicy inside. Peaches grow on trees in warm climates. Georgia. Georgia is on the east coast of America. Much of the land is flat and is very good for farming. Georgia is famous for growing peanuts and peaches. State Symbols, Georgia. Cherokee Rose, Brown Thrasher, Brown Thrasher, Live Oak. Cherokee Rose, Georgia. Martin Luther King, Jr. Martin Luther King, Jr. was a famous civil rights leader. He believed in peaceful protest, nonviolence, as a way to teach ideas about justice and equality for all people. His most famous speech was the I Have a Dream speech. Although his life was short, his important message continues to help others. Civil rights. Civil rights are the rights of all people to live freely and equally together. In the past, not everyone had the same civil rights. In the United States now, all people have the same civil rights. Fort Sumter. Fort Sumter is the place where the Civil War began in 1861. Tourists can see much of the old fort, including gun rooms and barracks where the men slept. The Fort Sumter Museum was opened on April 12, 1961, exactly 100 years after the first Civil War battle. Fort. A fort is a walled building surrounding a settlement run by the military. During the frontier days, many forts were built along the main wagon trails. Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean stretches from North America and South America in the west to Europe and Africa in the east. It is the second largest ocean in the world. The Atlantic Ocean is the saltiest of the world's oceans. Smoky Mountains. The Great Smoky Mountains run between Tennessee and North Carolina. Many years ago, the Cherokee Indians were the first people to live there. They named the mountains the Place of Blue Smoke because the mountains were often covered with a blue haze. Tennessee. Tennessee is one of the southern states of America and is made up of mountains and plains. The city of Nashville is the home of country music.
Pioneer Families During the 1800s, many families traveled west across the United States in search of a better place to live. These people were called pioneers. The Pioneer Woman Museum is a place to learn about family life during the pioneer days. Outside the museum is a 17-foot tall bronze statue of a pioneer woman. Pioneers Pioneers were people who traveled across the American frontier in the 1800s to settle in the west of America. Pioneer families traveled west in covered wagons following routes called trails. Oklahoma Memorial on April 19, 1995, a terrorist bomb exploded in Oklahoma City. The blast killed 168 men, women, and children. The city is building a memorial to honor the victims who died. People from all over the country come to see the site. They leave t-shirts, flowers, and special messages on the fence around the site. Rodeo. A rodeo is an entertaining event where professional cowboys show off their skills in different contests. A popular contest is to see how long a cowboy can ride a wild, wild jumping horse called a bucking bronco before falling off. Other contests include bull riding and steer wrestling. Cowboys. Cowboys are workers who take care of herds of cattle on ranches. They usually ride horses when they travel with their herds. Cattle ranching first became big business in America in the 1800s. Hot Springs there are 47 natural hot springs in Hot Springs National Park in Arkansas. People like to sit in hot springs to relax and improve their health. The Fordyce Bathhouse is one of the oldest bathhouses at Hot Springs Nas National Park. Visitors can relax and soak in the warm water of the Hubbard Tub Room. Paddle boat. During the 1800s, steam-powered paddle boats were the most popular form of transportation along the Mississippi River. At one time, there were over 9,000 boats used along the river. Paddle steamers became less needed when the railroads were completed. Now there are only five genuine paddle boats left in the United States. To win a sticker, answer this question. On which river did paddle boats travel in the 1800s? Rio Grande River, Colorado River, Mississippi River. Try again. Paddle boat. During the 1800s, steam-powered paddle boats were the most popular form of transportation along the Mississippi River. To win a sticker... <laughs> Well done. You've won yourself a sticker. USS Alabama. The USS Alabama is a gigantic battleship docked in the harbor of Mobile Bay. The ship served in World War II. 2,500 people lived and worked on board the USS Alabama during the war. Now the ship is a floating museum and open for visitors to tour. Harbor Ships load and unload their cargo in a harbor because it is sheltered from the sea. Harbor walls keep out large waves and protect ships from high winds. World War II 
World War II was fought from 1939 to 1945 between the Allies, including the United States, Britain, and Russia, and the Axis, Germany, Italy, and Japan. The Allies defeated the Axis in the war. Growing Cotton The hot, wet weather in the southern United States is ideal for growing cotton plants. The soft fibers from the plants are picked, harvested, and then spun into cotton thread, which is used to make clothes. Here's another clue from Joe for you to open. Magnolia Trees Magnolia trees are tall trees with large leaves and beautiful pink or white flowers. Many magnolia trees grow in the southeast states. The flowers have a lemon-like scent and the leaves feel waxy. The magnolia tree is the state tree for Mississippi as well as the state flower. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Way to go! Now come on over to Williamsburg, Virginia. This is a really neat place. The people dress up in 18th century costumes and still do the kinds of things people did back then. Come on! We'll travel back in time. Steam engine. Over 100 years ago, the fastest way to travel was by steam train on the railroad. One of the most popular trains of the time was called the Chattanooga Choo Choo. The train was so popular that a well-known American song was written about it. Music City, USA Nashville is sometimes known as Music City, USA. This is because it is the center for America's country and western music. Many songwriters and musicians travel to Nashville in the hopes of recording a popular song. Nashville Nashville is also known by two other titles. One title is Music City USA because it is the center of the country and western music industry. The other title is Athens of the South because of the many higher educational institutions there such as Vanderbilt University. Industry. An industry is a type of business where many people work, all producing the same thing. Farming, fishing, and drilling for oil are examples of industries. <gasps> Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave in Kentucky is the largest cave system in the world. Visitors can take a tour through the vast twisting system of tunnels and caves. Deep into the caves are giant pillars of stone, underground rivers and lakes, and beautiful colored rocks. Kentucky. Kentucky is sometimes called the Bluegrass State because of a special kind of grass that grows there and gives the fields a blue color. State symbols. Kentucky. Goldenrod. Cardinal. Kentucky Coffee Tree. Okay, Corral. During the Wild West days of the 1800s, many frontier towns could be dangerous places. There were often gunfights on the town streets. 
one of the most famous gunfights in American history, took place in 1881 at the O.K. Corral in the town of Tombstone. Tombstone Tombstone is where the most famous gunfight of the Wild West took place. Lawman Wyatt Earp, with his brothers and Doc Holliday, shot dead the Clanton brothers at the O.K. Corral in Tombstone in 1881. Tombstone became known as the town too tough to die. Wild West The Wild West was a period of American history during the 1800s when the United States grew westward into new unexplored places. Some of these places were wild and without rules. Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is one of the seven wonders of the world. It is an amazing canyon carved out by the Colorado River through the force of erosion. It has taken millions of years for the river to shape the spectacular rocks of the huge Grand Canyon. Cactus plants. Cactus plants live in America's hot, dry deserts. They survive in these dry places because they can store large amounts of water in their stems. Cactus plants come in different shapes and sizes. Many of these plants have beautiful flowers. Hot air balloons. Hot air balloons come in many different shapes and colors. A hot air balloon floats into the sky because it is filled with gases that are lighter than air. Every year, the city of Albuquerque hosts an international balloon fiesta where hot air balloonists compete and show off their balloons. Albuquerque. Albuquerque is New Mexico's largest city. The city was founded in 1706. Every year, the city hosts the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Hundreds of hot air balloonists come from all over the world to compete in contests with their colorful balloons. To win a sticker, answer this question. Which city hosts the International Balloon Fiesta? <laughs> Well done. You've won yourself a sticker. Roadrunners. Roadrunners are unusual birds because they don't fly very often. Instead, roadrunners like to run. These birds can run as fast as 15 miles per hour. Roadrunners live in the southwest area of the United States. <laughs> Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds are a common sight in the southwest of the United States. Tumbleweeds are types of plants that break off from their stems during the fall. The wind catches the broken plants and can roll them around for miles. <laughs> Cowboys American cowboys are a famous symbol for the Wild West days of the United States. Cowboys work on cattle ranches in states such as Texas and Oklahoma. The job of a cowboy is to round up herds of cattle and move them to different grazing areas. Anasazi Cliff Dwellings Several hundred years ago, the Anasazi Indians lived in New Mexico. They carved rooms into the sides of steep cliffs to make homes called cliff dwellings. At Bandelier National Monument, 
Visitors can see these ancient cliff dwellings and discover how the Anasazi people lived many years ago. Prairie dogs. Prairie dogs are small furry animals that live on the prairie and are actually a type of squirrel. They eat grass and live in tunnels that they dig under the ground. Prairie dogs live with one another in large groups called towns. Prairie. A prairie is a large area of grassland without many trees. The land is usually quite flat or has small rolling hills. There are prairies in the center of the United States. The Golden Spike. In 1869, the final railroad spike was nailed into America's first transcontinental railroad track. The railroad linked together the eastern and western parts of the United States for the first time. To commemorate this important event, the final spike was called the Golden Spike. Transcontinental. Transcontinental means connecting one side of a continent with the other side. The Transcontinental Railroad connects the eastern coast of North America to the western coast. Rocky Mountains The Rocky Mountains are actually a chain of several mountain ranges joined together. These mountains extend up the United States all the way from New Mexico to Canada. The Rocky Mountains were formed over half a billion years ago. Rocky Mountains The Rocky Mountains, also known as the Rockies, are a long chain of mountain ranges. The Rockies begin in Alaska, continue through Canada, and end in New Mexico. To win a sticker, Answer this question. How long ago were the Rocky Mountains formed? 20,000 years ago? <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. <laughs> Skiing. Every winter, thousands of tourists visit Colorado to ski at the high mountain resorts there. Skiing is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. People of all ages enjoy skiing down mountains at exciting high speeds. The resorts of Aspen and Vail are the most visited ski areas in the United States. Aspen. The city of Aspen is a very popular resort area. In the 1800s, Aspen was a mining town where miners dug for silver. Now, Aspen is an excellent place to go for snow skiing in the winter and a cultural center during the summer. Colorado. The huge Rocky Mountains run through Colorado, making it one of the highest states in America. Cougars, bears, and lots of other wild animals live here. Dinosaur National Monument Dinosaur National Monument is a place that you can visit to see the remains of mighty dinosaurs. There are more than 2,000 dinosaur bones and fossils buried in the sandstone walls of this unique museum. Some of the bones are 145 million years old. Red Rocks Park. Red Rocks Park is an unusual outdoor theater. 
over thousands of years, the force of erosion carved a natural bowl-shaped depression out of the red sandstone rocks near the town of Aurora. This natural amphitheater was then turned into an outdoor theater, which can seat 9,000 people. Erosion Erosion is a natural process of wearing away parts of the land over time. For example, over many years, a river can erode part of a mountain to form a valley. Sod houses. When pioneer families first settled in the Great Plains, there were not many trees to use for building houses. The pioneers solved this problem in a unique way. They dug blocks of prairie soil from the ground called sod. They then used the sod blocks to build their homes. To win a sticker, answer this question. Where could you find sod homes in the 1800s? <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. <coughs> Buffalo Bill. William Buffalo Bill Cody was a famous frontiersman during the Wild West days of the 1800s. He started a popular entertainment show called Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. His show traveled all over the United States and even went to some countries in Europe. <coughs> Buffaloes. The real name for an American buffalo is a bison, but these huge animals are best known as buffaloes. Buffaloes were very important to the Native American Indians who lived on the Great Plains. The Indians ate buffalo meat and also used buffalo hides to make clothes and teepees. Great Plains The Great Plains is a vast area of land. Great Plains The Great Plains is a vast area of land in the middle of the United States. The land is mostly flat and grassy and used for farming. To win a sticker, answer this question. What is the real name for an American buffalo? <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is a very famous sculpture in honor of four of the most famous presidents of the United States. Carved onto the side of Mount Rushmore are the faces of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. Each face is nearly 60 feet tall. To win a sticker, answer this question. How tall are the faces of Mount Rushmore? <laughs> Well done. You've won yourself a sticker. <laughs> Farming Heartland. The middle or heartland of the United States is a very productive farming area. Modern farms use machines to harvest crops such as wheat. In the early 1900s, farms were very different. In those days, huge Percheron horses were used to pull farming equipment. Pony Express the Pony Express was an American mail service set up in 1860. Pony Express riders would ride their horses all day carrying bags of mail. The next day, a new rider would take the mail bags and continue on the route. Riders traveled hundreds of miles to get the mail across the country.
Ingalls Wilder. Laura Ingalls Wilder was a famous American writer and pioneer. She wrote the very popular Little House series of books. Laura Ingalls Wilder lived part of her life in this house on the prairie in South Dakota. Many of her books are about people living on the prairie. Prairie. A prairie is a large area of grassland without many trees. The land is usually quite flat or has small rolling hills. There are prairies in the center of the United States. South Dakota. South Dakota is one of the Great Plains states and much of it is taken up by farmland. In the west are the Black Hills, a sacred place for many Native Americans. Gateway Arch. The Gateway Arch is a famous landmark for the city of St. Louis. The arch got its name because during the 1800s, the city was the gateway to the western part of the United States. Many people traveling west would gather in St. Louis before the start of their long journey. Landmark. A well-known and easily seen feature of a local area, such as a big hill or a tall tower, is known as a landmark. St. Louis. The Mississippi River and the Missouri River come together near the port of St. Louis. One of the city's most famous landmarks is the Gateway Arch. Visitors can ride an elevator 630 feet high to a lookout platform on top of the arch. Sears Tower. The Sears Tower is the tallest building in the United States. Visitors can ride the fast express elevators to the top of this huge skyscraper. At the top of the Sears Tower, there is a lookout deck with spectacular views of the city of Chicago and Lake Michigan. To win a sticker, answer this question. Which lake can you see from the top of the Sears Tower? Lake Michigan? Try again. Sears Tower. The Sears Tower is the tallest building in the United States. Visitors can ride the fast express elevators to the top of this huge skyscraper. At the top of the Sears Tower, there is a lookout deck with spectacular views of the city of Chicago and Lake Michigan. To win a sticker and... <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby is the best-known horse race in the United States. The race takes place in Louisville on the first Saturday of each May, and it attracts thousands of spectators every year. The state of Kentucky is well known for breeding and raising horses. Midwest. The Midwest area of the United States covers the northern middle part of the country, reaching from Michigan and Minnesota south to Missouri. Together, the Midwest and the Great Plains make up the American heartland. The heartland is the middle of the country and contains much quality farmland. Indianapolis 500. One of the most famous automobile races in the United States is the Indianapolis 500. Every year, thousands of people come to watch the race. Race cars speed around the track for 200 laps. The winner of the race earns more than $1 million. To win a sticker, answer this question. What is the name of the most famous car race in America? Indianapolis 100. Try again. To win a sticker. <laughs> well done. You've won yourself a sticker. Model 
T. Ford. The state of Michigan is known for producing automobiles. In Michigan in the early 1900s, the famous car maker Henry Ford designed a car called the Model T. It became one of the most popular cars of all time. In the 1920s, Henry Ford's factories built a Model T car every 24 seconds. Football Hall of Fame The Pro Football Hall of Fame is a famous museum dedicated to the sport of American football. Inside the Hall of Fame, there are many interesting football mementos from great players and famous games. The Hall's oldest item is a football used way back in 1890. Whitewater rafting. A very exciting water sport in the state of West Virginia is whitewater rafting. People sit on the rafts and use oars or paddles to move through the fast-moving water. The water turns to a foamy white color because it is moving so quickly. The ride down the river can be wet and bumpy. <laughs> Look, here's another of Joe's clues. Historical City. The historical city of Williamsburg looks just like it did over 200 years ago during colonial times. The people of the city dress in costumes from the 1700s and still use old skills such as candle making, weaving, and silversmithing. And here's a photo for your travelogue. Way to go! You are hot on the trail. You can find me now on the border of Utah and Colorado. I'm checking out the bones at Dinosaur National Monument. There are over 2,000 dinosaur bones buried here. That's a whole lot of bones. Beach Resorts The state of Delaware has a long coastline along Delaware Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Many people like to go on vacation to the resort beaches of Delaware, which are some of the most popular beaches in New England. Rehoboth Beach is one of the favorite beaches in Delaware. Naval Academy. The United States Naval Academy is in Annapolis. The Naval Academy began in 1845. It is a place to train young citizens for life in the military. Many of the graduates from the Naval Academy become top military officers in the U.S. Navy. The school colors are blue and gold. Black bears. Black bears live in forests all over the United States. They usually like to spend most of their time alone, except for mother bears that look after their babies, which are called cubs. At birth, black bear cubs weigh only 8 ounces. When they grow up, they usually weigh about 200 pounds. Boardwalk. Over 100 years ago, the first ever boardwalk in America was built in Atlantic City. The boardwalk is made of wood and stretches out over the ocean. The Atlantic City Boardwalk is a very popular resort with an amusement park, shopping, and several casinos. Naval Academy, the United <laughs> Smith's
Smithsonian Institution. The Smithsonian Institution is an organization that includes 14 museums and galleries, research facilities, and a zoo. It was created over 150 years ago as a place to increase knowledge. The institution does very important scientific work. Lincoln Memorial One of America's favorite and most respected presidents was Abraham Lincoln. The Lincoln Memorial is a tribute to this great man. For many years, the memorial has been a symbol of freedom for the people of the United States. No other site in Washington, D.C. attracts more visitors than this memorial. White House the White House is where the President of the United States lives. The White House has 132 rooms and 20 bathrooms. Some of the rooms are open for visitors to see. Visitors can tour the green, red, and blue rooms, along with a few other places inside the home. Washington Monument the Washington Monument stands 555 feet high. It is the highest brick, masonry, structure in the world. Around the base of the monument there are 50 flags. Each flag represents one of the 50 states of America. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Apollo Space Capsule. The National Air and Space Museum is one of the Smithsonian museums. The museum has many interesting things on display, including the Apollo 11 spacecraft that carried American astronauts to the moon for the first time. National Archives Building. The most important documents and records in the United States are kept in the National Archives Building. The two most important documents kept there are the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution. Visitors to the National Archives Building can see these two priceless documents. Library of Congress. The Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. is one of the largest libraries in the world. The library is so vast that it takes up three buildings. There are over 84 million different books and documents kept in these buildings. Capital. The Capitol is where politicians meet to discuss important issues and make laws. The building has many columns around its outside and a huge dome for a roof. The inside of the dome is called the Rotunda and has many beautiful paintings on its curved ceiling. George Washington laid the first stone of the Capitol in 1793. Liberty Bell. Shortly after the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776, the Great Bell in the tower of the Pennsylvania State House rang loudly in celebration. It was a signal that the United States was an independent country. Ever since that time, the bell has been known as the Liberty Bell. Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence was written in 1776 at the start of the American Revolution. The Declaration announced America's freedom, independence, from Britain. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a large state in the eastern part of America. On July 4, 1776, 
the United States declared its independence in the city of Philadelphia. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty stands by the entrance to New York Harbor. The statue is a symbol of freedom and justice for all Americans. Visitors can climb a staircase inside the statue and look out from the crown at the top. The statue is a gift to the United States from the people of France. North Canada Canada is the largest country in North America. Canada's main cities are in the south. The north is covered by forests and tundra. Chickadee bird. Chickadee birds are small but brave birds. They can scare off attackers by taking a deep breath puffing out their chests, and then making popping sounds. Chickadee birds eat caterpillars, moths, and different types of seeds. A chickadee bird is the state bird of Maine. Lighthouses. A lighthouse is a tall building with a very bright light at the top. Lighthouses are built along ocean coasts. The bright light helps to guide ships away from danger at night. The state of Maine has many lighthouses along its Atlantic Ocean coast. <laughs> Lobster fishing. Lobsters are a type of sea creature similar to crabs. American lobsters have been a favorite food for over 200 years. Maine is the best place in America to catch lobsters, and every summer the state holds a lobster festival. Maine lobsters are world famous for their taste and quality. Mayflower. In 1620, some of the first settlers from England traveled across the Atlantic Ocean on a ship called the Mayflower. They called the place where they built their new homes Plymouth. Plymouth was the name of the port in England that they had sailed from. Fall Trees. During the autumn, the trees in the New England states turn magnificent colors. Their leaves change from green to many different shades of red, orange, and yellow. The fall foliage is so beautiful that many tourists plan their vacations to New Hampshire during this time of year. Rockwell Museum. Norman Rockwell was a famous American artist. He painted pictures of typical American life. Many of his paintings were shown on the covers of national magazines. Norman Rockwell lived in Vermont for years, and there is a museum there called the Norman Rockwell Exhibition. Webster's Dictionary. The first American dictionary was written in Connecticut by Noah Webster in 1825. It took him over 10 years to write the dictionary, which contained all the words used in the English language. Webster's Dictionary became the standard dictionary of the American English language. Har 
Harvard University. Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts is the oldest university in the United States. It was founded as a place to train religious ministers. Now, Harvard is one of the top universities in the world. Trout fishing. The Catskill Mountains of Upper New York State are a beautiful area for hiking, swimming, skiing, and fishing. The most popular fish to catch here are freshwater trout. Trout are good to eat. The best way to catch them is to use a baited hook on the end of a rod and line. Wolves. Timber wolves are also known as gray wolves because of their grayish color. Wolves make different sounds such as howling and growling to communicate with each other. Minnesota has one of the largest wolf populations in the United States, second only to Alaska. lift bridge. Connecting the ports of Duluth and Superior across the edge of Lake Superior is one of the world's most interesting bridges. The bridge is a 225 foot high aerial lift bridge. The middle section of the bridge lifts up allowing boats to enter the ports. Cars can drive across the bridge when it is lowered. Fishing Hall of Fame. The National Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame is a museum of fishing inside a unique building. Part of the building is shaped like a giant fish four stories tall. Visitors can stand inside the mouth of the giant fish building and take pictures. Canoeing. Minnesota is sometimes known as the land of 10,000 lakes because there are so many lakes there. Canoe riding is a favorite sport for many people and with so many lakes there are plenty of places to go canoeing in Minnesota. To win a sticker, answer this question. Which state is sometimes called the land of 10,000 lakes? <laughs> well done! You've won yourself a sticker. Sacagawea. Sacagawea was a Shoshone Indian. She traveled as a guide with the famous explorers Lewis and Clark on their journeys across America nearly 200 years ago. While carrying her infant son on her back, she saved the men and many valuable papers during a storm. Sunflowers. Sunflowers look like the sun with their bright yellow and orange colors. During the day, sunflowers turn their heads from east to west to follow the light of the sun as it moves across the sky. North Dakota produces more sunflowers than any other state. Yellowstone National Park. 
Yellowstone National Park is the largest and most famous national park in the United States. The park contains many hot springs and geysers. The park's best known attraction is Old Faithful, a powerful geyser that erupts almost every hour. Glacier National Park. Glacier National Park is located in the middle of the Continental Divide in the Rocky Mountains. It is one of the highest places in the United States. There are more than 50 glaciers in the park, which also contains streams, valleys, and mountain peaks. Native American Indians. The first people to live in the United States were the Native American Indians. There were many different tribes of Indians, such as the Sioux, who lived on the Great Plains. Sioux Indians hunted buffaloes and lived in shelters called teepees. Pine trees. Pine trees grow in mountain areas. They are the oldest types of trees growing on earth. The wood from pine trees is used in the timber industry. Workers called lumberjacks cut down the trees and saw them into logs which are used to make furniture, building materials, and paper. Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens is an active volcano in the state of Washington. In 1980, the volcano erupted in one of the most violent explosions ever in North America. The big blast tore away the top of the volcano and knocked down millions of trees in the area around it. <laughs> Seattle Space Needle The Seattle Space Needle was built for the 1962 World's Fair as a symbol for the future. It is Seattle's best-known landmark. Visitors can take an elevator ride to the top of the Space Needle. At the top, there is a restaurant that spins slowly around, giving views of the city below. Mount St. Helens. <laughs> Potato farming. Potatoes are very popular vegetables and one of the world's main food crops. The state of Idaho is sometimes called the Spud State because of the large amount of potatoes grown there. Idaho potatoes are famous all over the United States. Gold Prospectors During the 1890s, gold was found in the Yukon Territory of Canada, which borders part of Alaska. Many people moved to the Alaskan town of Skagway in the hopes of striking it rich and finding gold. The people who searched for gold were called Gold Prospectors. Glacier Bay National Park. 
A glacier is a huge mass of ice that flows slowly over the land like a giant river of ice. Most glaciers move just a few inches each day. Glacier Bay National Park is a place where people can see glaciers up close. Northern Lights The Northern Lights are beautiful and colorful light shows high up in the Alaskan sky. The fantastic lights are usually colored green and red. The Northern Lights occur when small particles from the sun collide with air molecules in the sky. Igloos. Some Inuit people build igloos for shelter in the winter. Igloos are warm shelters made from blocks of hard-packed snow. The blocks are placed together in a circular pattern to create a dome-shaped home. An igloo has a tunnel exit that faces away from the wind to keep out cold air. Inuit. Many Native Americans living in Alaska belong to the Inuit Indian tribe. Inuit Indians live in the Arctic regions of the United States and Canada. More than 100,000 Inuit Indians live in Alaska. Alaskan Earthquake the largest earthquake to ever occur in North America struck southern Alaska in 1964. The city of Anchorage was almost destroyed by the earthquake and many lives were lost. The earthquake was so strong it rearranged the land permanently. Whoa. Mount McKinley Mount McKinley is the highest mountain in North America. The mountain is 20,320 feet tall and has two points, which makes it a twin-peaked mountain. Alaskan Native Americans call the mountain Denali, which means Great One. The mountain is in the Denali National Park and Preserve. Bering Sea. The Bering Sea is the northernmost part of the Pacific Ocean. It is a small body of water that separates Asia from North America. The Bering Strait is a narrow channel of the Bering Sea. On one side of the Bering Strait is the easternmost part of Russia, while on the other side is Alaska. Fishing. Fishing is a very important industry in Alaska. The state catches nearly half of all the fish produced in the entire United States. The fish are caught in nets from special boats called trawlers. The most common fish caught in the seas around Alaska are salmon. Beluga whales. Beluga whales are also known as white whales because of their creamy color. Baby beluga whales start out life with a black and bluish color. It takes five years for them to turn white. Beluga whales live in the Arctic Ocean and the Bering Sea in family groups of up to 20 members. Far West. The far west of the United States is made up of many different climates and land types. Way up north is the mountainous and cold state of Alaska. Along the Pacific coast are the states of Washington, Oregon, and California. 
The state of Hawaii is a group of tropical islands in the Pacific Ocean. Land Bridge Inuit people are Native American Indians who live in Alaska and Canada. Scientists believe that over 20,000 years ago there was a land bridge connecting Alaska to the continent of Asia. The very first Indians could have traveled over this land bridge to come to North America. Today's weather. Click on the train to find out what to do. Alaska. Today's weather. Today's weather. Are you sure you want to quit? 